If you're using ChatGPT or Claude regularly, your chat history is probably a mess. ChatGPT and Claude tried to solve this with their project's features, but there's one big limitation I constantly ran into. You can only organize your chats at a single level. For anyone that's trying to manage large amounts of chats across multiple topics, this is just not enough. And this is what led me to build Easy Folders. It's a browser extension that lets you create organized folder structures for your chats, projects, and even generated images, along with some additional features that I think you'll find useful in your daily workflow. In this video, I'll teach you how to use all of the core features within Easy Folders, so you can finally clean up your AI workspace and be more productive. First, let's create some folders to organize our chats, projects, and images. Click on the plus icon and give your folder a name, then click Add Folder. To create a subfolder, right-click, select Add Folder, and save. To add chats, projects, or images to a folder, right-click and select the item type you want to add. Then, a pop-up will appear where you can select multiple items to add to the folder. Click Save to apply the changes. You can also customize folders with a custom image logo or change the color of the folder. This helps with organization and makes it easier to identify your folders. To organize chats in Claude, the process is very similar. Open the Easy Folders sidebar, click the New Folder button, give your folder a name, then right-click and select Add Chats. It's that simple. And just so you know, your folders within ChatGPT and Claude are automatically synced with your Easy Folders account. So you can just log in on any device, any platform, and your folders will be automatically loaded right where you left off. Another feature that I think you'll find useful is the ability to bookmark your favorite chats and projects. This way, you can access all of your most frequently used items at the top. To add a bookmark, click on the plus icon and select which chats or projects you want to bookmark. And to remove a bookmark, just click the Remove Bookmark button. Now, let me walk you through the Prompts Manager so you can create, organize, and reuse your own custom prompts inside of ChatGPT and Claude. Click on the Prompts Manager action button to open the pop-up menu. Then, click the plus icon and give your prompt a name and fill in the prompt contents. You can use double curly braces to declare a prompt variable, which makes your prompt more dynamic and reusable. After you're happy with everything, just click Save Prompt. As you build up a library of your own custom prompts, you may want to create some folders to keep your prompts organized. To create a prompts folder, click on New Folder, give your folder a name, and save. You still have the ability to create nested folders as well as customizing the color and logos to give yourself that extra level of organization. To add a prompt to a folder, right-click on the folder and select Add Prompts. Then select the prompts you want to add to the folder and click Save. And that's everything you need to know to get started with Easy Folders. If you want to finally organize your ChatGPT and Claude workspace, you can install Easy Folders from the link in the description. Thank you for watching.